GTA 4 has a lot of unused phone calls that can be found within the game's files. I've known about some of the unused phone calls for a while now from some of the other videos out there on the web, but when I was working on my top 10 darkest moments in GTA 4 video about a few weeks back, I discovered that there were even more unused phone calls than what I originally knew about. So for the past couple of days, I've been listening to all of the game's scripted speech audio files and found a lot of the unused phone calls in GTA 4. In this video, I'll be showcasing all of those unused phone calls and will also make educated guesses based on where I believe the unused phone calls would have actually been placed in the GTA 4 storyline. It should be noted that some of these unused phone calls are rather alternatives of the ones that are actually used in the game. I'd say I found about 80 to 100 unused phone calls, which is absolutely insane. So with that said, enjoy the video and let's get into it. Bleed Out Phone Calls In the mission Bleed Out, Roman gets beat up by some loan sharks over at the basketball court in Firefly Projects. Nico then has to make his way over to help Roman. What I found were some unused phone calls that Roman would have actually made to Nico while Nico is en route to Roman. Roman here is basically trying to rush Nico and asks him to speed up. Nico, get here quickly! This is getting out of hand! I'm on my way, Roman! Nico, come help me! Quickly! I'm on my way, Roman! Roman wants to start hanging out. After completing the mission Bleed Out, you can start hanging out with Roman and spend time doing activities with them. This unused phone call was actually supposed to unlock the friendship activities with Roman. Nico! I feel like when we are hanging out, it always has to be about something. You know, we, we don't have enough fun together. That's probably because you are always either working or being hassled by loan sharks. Okay, all right. We should hang out more. Call me if you ever want to do anything fun, like getting drunk or shooting pool. Later on, NB. Vlad misdials Nico. There's an unused phone call that Nico gets from Vlad where Vlad accidentally misdials Nico instead of who I believe to be. Mallory. Hey baby, how about I take your beautiful ass out tonight? Maybe we can take one of your fat boyfriend's caps. Who are you calling, Vlad? Ah, the damn Yoko. I meant to call this girl I'm seeing. Vlad calls about his car being clean. After completing the mission Clean Getaway, Vlad would have actually called you a few in-game hours later to inform you that he's going out on a date. And on that same phone call, he would have told you that the car that you delivered, which was the Blista Compact, is either clean and looks good or is dirty and doesn't look good. But I say the word would've because this phone call was unused. For peasant, you did okay. Kinda looks good. Girl I'm taking out tonight is going to be impressed. She won't be impressed with the way you look, so clean car is good thing. Later on. Hey Yoko, what the fuck? That car you got to me, it looked like shit. I got a hot date tonight. Too bad, man. It was clean, wasn't it? Well, maybe you should stay home. Goodbye. This meant that taking the car to the car wash never used to be a requirement, but rather an option before it became a requirement in the mission. Roman tells you to ask him a question. While Mallory is having an affair with Vlad, Roman started hitting on some other women, particularly a barista at the Bean Machine shop. This unused phone call was made to Nico by Roman. Ask me what I'm doing later. Come on, ask me. What are you doing later? I am ruining a beautiful woman for every man on earth. She's a barista at the local bean machine. After she spends tonight with me, her sexual expectations will be so high that no other man will be able to fulfill them. I already feel sorry for her. And them. I'm not going to give you a lecture about Mallory, Roman. Just be careful. Some of those bean machine bitches give out blowjobs with the cappuccinos. The restrooms in those places are cleaner than the baristas. Don't crush my high, man. Of course I'll be careful. Cover for me, alright? A woman hits on Roman. In this unused phone call, Roman calls Nico to tell him about a woman who's hitting on him. And Nico, of course, tries to humble Roman and puts him in his place. Nico, you should have seen the woman who just hit on me. A neurotic goddess. A color in a few days. What about Mallory, Roman? I thought you said you loved her. I do, but a man has his urges. Does Mallory have her urges too? Maybe, I don't know. I think I'm enough of a man to satisfy her, but uh, she can do what she likes. I've got to go, Nico. See you soon. Mallory finds out that Roman is cheating. In this unused phone call, Mallory calls Nico to ask whether or not Roman is cheating on her. Nico says yes, and here's how Mallory reacts. Nico, tell me straight. Was Roman with another woman last night? I swear I'm gonna cut his balls off. You know Roman. He has these other women, but you're the only one he loves. He don't act like it. Piece of shit, when I get my hands on him, I'm gonna... Puto, where are the scissors? Where are the fucking scissors? Roman eventually calls Nico to confront him about snitching to Mallory. What the fuck are you saying to Mallory, NB? She fucking attacked me with some scissors! Maybe that'll stop you fucking her around. 
If you love her like you say you do, you should show her some respect. I remember this when one of your girlfriends calls me, okay? Later on, cousin. Mallory finds out that Roman is not cheating. This is actually the same as the previous unused phone call, except that Nico tells Mallory that Roman is not cheating, and here's how Mallory reacts. Nico, tell me straight. Was Roman with another woman last night? I swear I'm gonna cut his balls off. Come on, Mallory. Roman wouldn't do something like that to the love of his life. I must be getting paranoid. Of course Roman wouldn't. Thanks, Nico. Roman eventually calls Nico to thank him for not snitching to Mallory. Envy. Envy, you're a great cousin. Thank you for convincing Mallory that I wasn't cheating. Yes, I did, but I'm not happy about it, Roman. You should treat her with more respect than that. All right, all right. Thanks for the lecture, cousin. I'm not sure why Rockstar took out these series of phone calls between Roman and Mallory because I think it adds a lot of background to the random affairs that these two have had with other people at the time of Vlad being around. The segment in the beginning cutscene of Uncle Vlad would have made more sense with these phone calls being around. Mallory asks about Vlad. After Nico kills Vlad, no one knows exactly where he's been or what happened to him. So Mallory, in this unused phone call, asks about Vlad and says that some Russians have been coming up to her and are asking where he's been. Hey Nico, it's Mallory. I got a personal question for you. Sure. Do you know where Vlad is? I haven't seen him. Listen, I'll level with you. I stupidly got involved with him to get back at Roman while he's playing around. Give him some of his own medicine. Find out if he was serious about me. Now these Russian putas keep calling me asking where he is, like I fucking know. He could be dead in the river for all I care. I just want to put that shit behind me. Roman and I are getting on well now, and I don't want this shit to jeopardize anything. Thanks, Nico. I believe that after this phone call was made is when Roman finally calls Nico to meet him outside of the cabaret club, which then triggers a mission, Crime and Punishment. Michelle asks about Vlad, followed by Mallory's unused phone call is also another unused phone call from Michelle, where she also talks to Nico about Vlad gone missing. Hey Nico, did you hear that Vlad has gone missing? Yeah, he is a real shame. Probably ran off with some woman. I hear he was actually successful with ladies, even though he was such a pig. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what happened. See you soon then. I'm not sure why Michelle's and Mallory's phone calls weren't used because I think it adds a lot of suspense and tension to the fact that Vlad is now dead and that Mikhail Faustin may be a danger to Nico, but who knows. Roman urges Nico to help him. After Nico kills Vlad, Roman tells Nico to get to the cabaret club fast. However, an unused phone call would have been triggered if Nico wasn't any quicker about getting to Roman. Where are you, cousin? I'm waiting the Perestroika. Get here soon, okay? Chill out, Roman. There's nothing to worry about. I'm coming. I'd imagine that Rockstar took this out because it would have been annoying to the player, but in my opinion, it adds a lot of care to the circumstances that took place. Crime and Punishment Phone Calls After Nico gets hold of a police car in the mission Crime and Punishment, this phone call takes place between Dimitri and Nico. I have the police car, what now? The van is driving around South Broker, pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific, how many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you, and your cousin. Not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TVs. Goodbye. However, there happens to be an unused and alternative version to this phone call where Dimitri threatens Nico by furthering Roman's injuries. I have the police car. What now? The truck is driving around South Broker. Pull it over. Take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Can't you be a bit more specific than South Broker? There has to be more than one truck around here. That's not our problem. Keep pulling them over until you find the one with the TVs. I do it quick. Roman don't look too good. While Nico is on the mission and after he pulls over the first van, an unused phone call is made to Dimitri by Nico. I pulled over a van. It didn't have any TVs in it. Pull over more vans then. Mr. Faustin wants those TVs. You do not want him to take out his anger on your cousin. Go! During the mission, Dimitri will randomly call Nico or Nico will randomly call Dimitri and this unused phone call will take place where Dimitri acts like the mission is complete. You have the shipment already? You are good! No, I have nothing yet. Is Roman alright? Uh, your cousin will only be alright when Mr. Faustin has that van. Go and get it for him. I can't imagine why these phone calls were unused because I do think that it adds a lot of flavor to the mission and Nico's objective in mind, to help and save Roman by doing the job. 
Do you have protection? Phone calls. This is the mission where you and Dimitri collaboratively go together to the shop, the people, to collect on protection money. I do believe that Rockstar intended on originally letting Nico go alone to the shop to collect on the protection money, and I'm making this educated guess because there are some unused phone calls that Nico makes if he fails the mission in various ways. Firstly, when Nico kills or severely injures any of the important members at the shop. Mr. Faustin, I got a little out of control in the shop. People were hurt. This is what you are for, Malik. To hurt people for me, but in ways that will make money. Come back to my house. Secondly, when Nico injures the gun shop keeper, this unused phone call plays. Mr. Faustin, I don't think you should use that gun shop no more. I hurt the guy who works there. You are the one who should be taking Dimitri's sedatives. Not me. Fucking control yourself. Thirdly, when Nico fired all of his bullets, which I'm not sure where this would have been used, he makes an unused phone call to Mr. Faustin. Mr. Faustin, I couldn't do what you wanted me to. Things got out of control and I uh, fired all my bullets. Sorry. Dimitri asks if there's any good news. There are some unused phone calls made between Nico and Dimitri. If I were to make an educated guess though, then I'd say that these phone calls were supposed to take place during the mission, Do You Have Protection? Which I believe to be a mission that originally intended on having Nico go alone to collect on the protection money for Mr. Faustin. But I also do believe that these calls would have only been made by Nico to Dimitri during the mission's progress, given the fact that Dimitri actually wouldn't have been there with Nico in the first place. Is it done yet? No, I'm doing my best though. Mr. Faustin does not like to be bothered with trivialities. Goodbye. You have good news? Only if no news is good news. Mr. Faustin does not care about how hard you are trying. He cares about this getting done. Goodbye. What have you got for Mr. Faustin? Nothing yet. Well, don't call when you have nothing. What have you got for Mr. Faustin? Nothing yet. Then why are you calling me? Goodbye, Nico. Dimitri praises Nico. Yep, that's right. Dimitri praises Nico for his hard work in an unused phone call. My educated guess is that this takes place after the mission, Do You Have Protection? Nico, you are doing very well for us. You are good. Almost too good. How can you be too good? I don't know. I'm just surprised you have not found more success with your talents. Not everyone gets lucky. You're right. You are lucky now though. This is a good partnership. Mikhail Faustin asks Nico for drugs. While Nico is working for Mikhail Faustin, there is an unused phone call where Mr. Faustin calls Nico to ask for some drugs. Have a listen. Nico, friend, listen, you got any to it? I need some fucking powder. Sorry, my friend. I ain't got nothing. What fucking good are you if you don't got some shit for me? Surely a man like you knows how to source some white. My man is down in vice fucking city. Shit. You fucking incompetent. Final Destination Mission Complete Call after completing the mission Final Destination, where Nico kills Lenny Petrovic by Mr. Faustin's orders, Dimitri calls you and tells you that what Nico did was a bad thing. Nico, do you know what you have done? I have followed Mr. Faustin's orders. Not much more. The boy you killed was the son of Kenny Petrovich. This is a very dangerous man. You will not take kindly to this. How was I to know? You weren't. This is Mikhail's craziness. I will speak to people and see what I can do. However, there is an unused phone call between Nico and Mr. Faustin after completing the mission. Lenny, the boy, he's dead. Shut up, Dimitri. I don't care who he is. It is too late anyway. Nico has killed him. Stop your whining. You would still be in a fucking gulag if it wasn't for me. You would be drilling for oil in the tundra. I'm sorry, Nico. Thank you. At least you are loyal. We will work together again. Come to see me at my house. I never quite understood why this particular phone call was unused. I personally thought that Nico having updated Mr. Faustin about what happened seemed to be canonical followed by Mr. Faustin's response. Mr. Faustin assures you about Kenny Petrovic. This is another unused phone call between Nico and Mikhail Faustin. Sometime after completing the mission Final Destination, Mr. Faustin calls Nico to let him know that he shouldn't be worried about Kenny Petrovic. Nico, do not let Dimitri worry you about Kenny Petrovic. He's just another shit from the old country, running around with his boys. He only tries to prove he is the man with biggest dick. We have no worries about him. His son is dead. He will mourn for a time and then move on. He has chosen this life for his family. The responsibility is on his shoulders. Do not listen to Dimitri's paranoia. The only time he's calm is when he's taking his pills. I am in charge, Nico. No, Dimitri. Don't forget that. Me. Remember that.
Mr. Faustin's daughter. Sometime after completing the mission Love Lost, where Nico kills Jason after having been with Mr. Faustin's daughter, Mr. Faustin reaches out to Nico by this phone call. So, you get rid of my daughter's bike boyfriend, and now you think you can, how you say, pull her? She's too good for you. I will fucking castrate you. I do not take kindly to threats or false accusations. I have no involvement with your daughter. Oh no, of course not. This was test. But if you did, Nico, if you even think about her in that way while you're jacking off, remind yourself of what I'm saying. I think I made myself clear. Mr. Faustin suspects Mrs. Faustin to be cheating. This is an unused phone call that I did not expect to hear, but this is, again, another one between Nico and Mikhail Faustin. In a concerning matter, Mr. Faustin reaches out to Nico asking if Ileana, his wife, is having an affair with Dimitri. Nico, you are my employee. You must answer my question. Is Dimitri giving it to my wife, Yelena? All I know is that Dimitri is your friend. I do not think he would betray you like this. You see anything? You will say. Dimitri is not red like blood, but no one can be trusted. No one! Little Jacob wants to hang out. Similar to the unused phone call with Roman that triggers a friendship activities, here's actually the one from Little Jacob after having completed the mission, Shadow. In this unused phone call, Jacob tells Nico to start hanging out with them and to call him whenever. Before I play this phone call, I'd like to quickly apologize if the subtitles for this one are a little bit incorrect because it is quite hard to understand Little Jacob. Yo Nico, how things? Okay, what's up man? You and Batman got some work for me? No nah, man, there ain't nothing going on at the moment, you know. I was thinking you might get turned off with us and just want to hang with your cousin. Roman's my cousin. I get sick of him, but I'm stuck with him. See, my brethren, Roman's a good man as any man to be stuck with, you know, star. Give me a call if you want to hang with Jacob sometime. See? One love. The Master and the Molotov mission pop-up. Sometime after completing the mission rigged to blow for Mikhail Faustin, Nico receives a text from Dimitri saying, We need to talk. I'll be on the Firefly Island boardwalk, your friend Dimitri. This ultimately would open up the mission, the Master and the Molotov. But what if I told you that Dimitri was originally supposed to call Nico instead of sending him a text message? You wouldn't believe me, right? Well, here it is. Here's three unused phone calls from Dimitri to Nico that are actually alternatives of each other. Nico, it is Dimitri. We have something to discuss. No, right? Discuss it. We need to talk in person. I'll be on the Firefly Island boardwalk from 8 p.m. until 1 a.m. I hope to see you there. Nico, it is Dimitri. We have something to discuss. No, right? Discuss it. We need to talk in person. I'll be on the Firefly Island boardwalk from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. I hope to see you there. Nico, it is Dimitri. We have something to discuss. No, right? Discuss it. We need to talk in person. I'll be on the Firefly Island boardwalk all evening. I hope to see you there. Here's my guess about these three unused phone calls that eventually got transformed into a text message. It appears that Rockstar originally planned to have Nico meet Dimitri at the boardwalk between 8pm to 1am. Then they decided that they'd have Nico and Dimitri between 5pm and 3am instead, thus making the time span much longer. But then they decided to make it to where Dimitri and Nico would meet at any time during the evening hours of the day. But then they must have thought, eh, why do this, just send a text and let their meet happen at any point in time. But in my opinion, I believe that the text message is completely dull and less sincere, and that a phone call should have taken place as originally intended. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below in the comments. Dimitri wants to know if Mr. Faustin is dead. During the mission The Master and the Molotov, Nico must eliminate Mr. Faustin to supposedly satisfy Kenny Petrovic's revenge. However, I found unused phone calls that Dimitri and Nico have with each other during the mission's progress. These unused phone calls are about Dimitri wanting to know if Mr. Faustin is dead yet or if he's alive and warns Nico about the repercussions of him being alive. These come with two separate alternatives. He is dead? You have killed Mikhail? Not yet, Dimitri. Every second he lives, our lives are in danger. Your cousins as well, Nico. Hurry and do it. Call me when it's done. Can I call Petrovic and tell him that Mikhail is no longer a problem? Is he dead, Nico? He is not. Not yet, at least. You killed Petrovic's son. I need not remind you of that. You must eliminate Mikhail to make things right. Do it soon. Michelle calls Nico about the fires. Roman's cab depot and apartment building burn into flames during the mission, Roman Sorrow. Shortly after the mission is complete, Nico would have received a phone call from Michelle about the fires. Unfortunately, though, this phone call was unused. Nico, I am so sorry to hear about those fires. Roman's two places burning down at once. Was it arson? 
Is Roman caught up with some gangsters or something? Freak coincidence, Michelle. This is only explanation for it. It's a real tragedy. If you guys need anything, just ask. If you guys have got caught up with some bad people, you tell me, right? Don't let anyone bully you because you're an immigrant. Nobody will bully me, Michelle. Do not worry. Brucey sets you up with French Tom? Question mark? Yes, I said question mark because I don't really know where these unused phone calls would have been used. But if I had to make an educated guess before playing them on the video, then I'd say that these phone calls were ones that would set you up on a date with French Tom and would immediately force the mission out of the closet to trigger after the call has ended. These come with three alternative forms in terms of scheduling a time for the date to take place. Nico! It's me! I got a date for you with this guy today at 8 a.m. Have fun! <laughs> Nico! It's me! I got a date for you with this guy today at noon. Enjoy it, bro. Nico! It's me! Listen, I got a date for you with this guy today at 6 p.m. tonight. Good luck. Nico, it's me. I got a date for you with this guy at midnight tonight. He, he must want action, bro. Give him some, okay? Nico, I got a date for you with this guy tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., making his last breakfast. Nico, I got a date for you with this guy tomorrow at noon. Do it, will you? Nico, I got a date for you with this guy tomorrow at 6 p.m. You better be there. Nico. I got a date for you with this guy tomorrow night at midnight. Get rid of him. Nico, hey, wake up. I got a date for you with this guy, all right? Give it to him hard, will you? Well, a strange choice of words, but you know what I mean. Now, I do feel that maybe these phone calls were unused because of Rockstar integrating the Internet Cafe feature for this mission, specifically with lovemeet.net, so Nico can set up the date. Michelle suspects that you're cheating. This is an unused phone call between Michelle and Nico, where Michelle suspects Nico to have been cheating on her. And I think this happens if you end up dating another girl off of loveme.net after completing Out of the Closet, and also happen to take that date to the cabaret club, Perestroika. Nico, a friend of mine saw you coming out of Perestroika the other day. You haven't been taking another girl there, have you? I never took you for the jealous type, Michelle. I, I was just there on business, do not worry. Business? Isn't it owned by some Russian gangster? I would not know. Just making a delivery. Well, see you soon, Michelle. Uh, don't get so paranoid, yeah? Roman is being followed. This is an unused phone call between Roman and Nico. Roman calls Nico frantically to let him know, in typical Roman whispering fashion, that he's being followed by someone. Nico! Nico! I, I think I'm being followed! I swear it! Roman, why are you whispering? Are you hiding in the trash can again or the trunk of a car? Do you want me to come pick you up? Those other times I hid, I was right to be nervous, wasn't I? This time is different because I haven't pissed anyone off. Maybe I have. I owe a lot of money, Nico. I'm on a cold streak with the betting. I I'll talk to you soon. Failing luck of the Irish. This is an unused phone call between Packy and Nico after failing the mission, Luck of the Irish. Packy was supposed to call Nico in the event that Nico lost sight of the drug dealers or if they left the area without being eliminated. Nico, it's Packy. What the hell went wrong back there? You let the bastard get away, Nico. Maybe I was too busy saving your ass to clean up your mess. Sue me. Manny asks you for help. This is an unused phone call between Nico and Manny where Manny asks Nico to stop by the community center to help with public relations. Yo, streets! I need you to come over here and help me with some aggressive public relations. Not really my thing, but I'll come if you're paying. Your streets need you, Nico. They'll pay. If I had to take a good guess, then I'd say that this call was supposed to happen shortly after completing Esquila of the Streets and would open the mission Street Sweeper. Since the beginning cutscene involves public relations with a cop, namely Francis McCreary. Helping Badman. After doing the side mission with Badman, Little Jacob was actually supposed to call Nico and praise him for helping Badman with this problem. However, this is an unused phone call. Nico man, Badman tell I you help him with some Russian bomb cloud. Yeah, he's a friend of yours, so I looked after him. See me, Bridget. You're right, Joss. Badman in Vex as he usually is right now. Let's hang out soon. See? You? Hit me up. One love. Jacob calls after the snowstorm. After completing the mission The Snowstorm, Little Jacob says that he has to let Elisabetta know that she wasn't getting her drugs back. Shortly after that, Little Jacob would have called Nico to tell him how the conversation went between him and Elisabetta. Unfortunately though, this is an unused phone call. This is a bad girl for real enough. Did she kick your ass, man? Yo, me think she kick every ass in a salt ball on in a star. Tell me about it. For now, we should just worry about keeping out of prison. I'll speak to you soon, man. Roman finds out that Michelle is a cop. 
Yes, Roman did find out that Michelle was a cop at some point, but the way he expresses his shock about the news was only delivered via email. However, there is actually an unused phone call that would have taken place in the event that Roman didn't email Nico about it. NB, Jacob told me some weird shit went down with Michelle. I, I couldn't understand completely something about Babylon. That the guy's crazy. No, I'm fucking crazy for trusting anyone. Michelle is some kind of cop or informant or something. I don't know. What the fuck, man? Shit, Nico. I, I'm sorry for putting the two of you together. She, she was always saying she wanted to meet a mysterious man from the East. I, I thought she was kinky. I didn't think she would be a cop. That makes two of us. Later on, Roman. This seems more genuine of a reaction from Roman as opposed to the one sent by email. Elisabetta calls from prison. Shortly after completing the mission, the snowstorm, Nico would have actually received a call from Elisabetta while she was in prison. I'm here, Elisabetta. I was sorry to hear you got in trouble. I hope I wasn't something to do with it. You? Those bastards were after me long before you showed up. Too many parties, too much coke, too many assholes. That was my problem. I got what I deserved. Anyways, the cat ain't so bad. I got a nice little cellmate. She's eating on a trafficking beef. We'll keep each other company for the next five years, huh? <laughs> Woo! Have fun on the outside, Nico. Look after your cousin and Mallory. I'll say it again and again. I don't know why some of these phone calls weren't used. This one seemed especially appropriate to keep in considering everything that happened with Elisabetta. Playboy X's first mission pop-up. After completing the mission Blow Your Cover for Elisabetta, Playboy X shoots you a text message to stop by his loft and start the first mission with him. However, there was an alternative to this. Instead of Nico getting a text from Playboy X, he would have been called by Playboy X instead. Yo money, what up? This is Playboy. Playboy? I met you with Liz and Sobo. We had some troubles. With a UC called Charlie? Sure, you own this city, right? Now you talking? I got something for you, Blair. Come to my crib. You been there before. I'll show you what you can make of yourself when you start hustling. Dwayne and Nico meet in Middle Park. This is an unused phone call that takes place between Nico and Dwayne during the mission Rough Rider. After Nico kills Javon and gets Dwayne's money off of him, he calls Dwayne so they can arrange a meetup so the money can be given back to Dwayne. The location that Nico and Dwayne plan to meet up at is Cluck and Bell in Star Junction. Hey Dwayne, I've got your money. Why don't you meet me at Cluck and Bell so I can give it to you? Okay, you ask for Thanks, son. See you soon. But what if I told you that they were originally scripted to meet up somewhere in Middle Park before Rockstar changed it? Here it is. Hey Dwayne! I've got your money. Come meet me in Middle Park and I'll give it to you. Great. Thanks, son. See you soon. Call and play ending alternative phone call. If you ultimately chose to kill Playboy X instead of Dwayne when offered the choice, then Dwayne would thank Nico for his loyalty and let Nico have the deeds to Playboy's crib, making it a new safe house for him. Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You are right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got to deed the Playboy's fancy silk chic loft. You can have it. Hey, man. I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah. It'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe he'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. But I believe that it wasn't originally intended to let Nico have Playboy's safe house. There's an unused phone call that is altered from the currently used one that held Dwayne back from saying that Nico can have Playboy X's safe house. Dwayne, I killed Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. Was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. You can't predict what people will become. You can't give you no money for helping me, dog, but I'll stick by your ass. I know what loyalty means, unlike some people. You and me is tight now. That's good to know. Holler at me sometime. We can hang loose. Ain't got much else to do. So long, Nico. Playboy X follows up on Dwayne's death. If you ultimately chose to kill Dwayne instead of Playboy X when offered the choice, then Playboy X would say this on the phone call with Nico. I put Dwayne out of his misery. You did what you had to do, Nico. 
You got yourself that money. Good for you. You want me to come around? You took down Dwayne, Nico. I see your face. I see the cat that killed my mentor. Dwayne was like a father to me. I can't be around you no more. It's over between us. Now, I don't want no beef, but now you and me got some. So it's best if we just stay the hell away from each other, man. Shit. You nothing but a cold-hearted killer, man. I mean, where's the love? Where's your heart, homie? Man, you ain't cool. You try to find something to live for, man. Peace. But there's an unused phone call where Playboy X was supposed to call Nico again after some time to ask this. Did it hurt him? Tell me it didn't hurt him. Playboy? I thought you didn't want to talk to me no more. Too cold hearted. You popped him, man. He raised me, showed me everything that G needed to see. Just tell me it didn't hurt him none. I can't tell you what happens when it ends, friend. I can tell you that we'll all find out at some point, though. There ain't no bringing back those you love. That the truth, money. No matter how powerful you are, I own this city, player. I can look at anyone in this town, and they're gonna kill for me. But word is born, none of them bitches can bring back my man Dwayne. You should have known that when you asked me to kill him. I'm hanging up now, playboy. Goodbye. Roman asks Nico if anyone has any money. Roman unfortunately starts getting into debt throughout the storyline. There's an unused phone call that was supposed to take place between Nico and Roman, where Roman would ask Nico this very question. Do you know anyone who can lend me money? Roman, have you been gambling? I will give you any money you need. I am talking serious money, Nico. This is not the sort of cash you carry around in your track pants. Speak to you soon. Mallory asks Nico where Roman has been. Here's an unused phone call between Mallory and Nico where Mallory asks Nico if he's seen Roman at all. Hey, Nico. You seen Roman? I thought he would be winding and dining the woman he loves. If he calls you, tell him the woman he loves wants to see his ass at home. If I had to take a pretty good guess, then I'd say that this phone call was actually supposed to take place immediately after Roman was kidnapped. Therefore, building up the suspense of Roman's strange absence. This makes the most sense to me because Mallory does call Nico saying that Roman didn't get back home at all at one point, And then found out that Roman actually got kidnapped. It is interesting that Rockstar wouldn't build the suspense up even more by keeping this phone call in. Roman plays Blackjack. Now, I don't know the actual placement of these next two phone calls within the GTA 4 storyline, but there are some unused phone calls between Nico and Roman, where Roman would ask Nico for some help while Roman is playing one of his card games. The first one is where Roman is playing Blackjack and asks for Nico's help on what he should do. Here's two alternatives of this phone call where Nico would either say yes or no. Alright Envy, quick question. I'm playing blackjack. There's a lot of money on the line. Do I double down on 11? Go for it. Shit, I got a 2. This isn't good NB. I might be going to the pawn shop later. See you. Alright Envy, quick question. I'm playing blackjack. There's a lot of money on the line. Do I double down on 11? Don't lose any more money. Stick with your original bet. Shit, I got a 10. That's 21 in total. I could have won so much more. Speak to you later, NB. Roman plays roulette. This is the second unused phone call between Nico and Roman, where Roman needs help on the card game Roulette. Roman does ask for Nico's help on what he should do. Here's two alternatives of this phone call where Nico either says yes or no. I'm playing Roulette, cousin, and I'm not doing too good. I need some of your magic. The ball is in play. Should I bet black? Yes, put your money on black, Roman. Shit, fucking zero. The house edge. You have worse luck than me, Nico. Later. I'm playing roulette, cousin, and I'm not doing too good. I need some of your magic. The ball is in play. Should I bet black? No. Put your money on red, Roman. Damn it! The ball landed on double zero! We were screwed either way! See you. Roman's taxi services. This is an unused phone call between Nico and Roman after Nico uses Roman's taxi services for the first time. Hey, man! I heard you got the ride in one of my cabs. Yeah, thank you for arranging that, Roman. Will I have to pay for the next one? Well, you know what they say, nothing in this country is free. <laughs> I'm joking. Whatever is mine, is yours. As long as you are hanging out with me. I don't want you running off to the other side of Liberty City and only calling me to ask for cabs. I wouldn't abuse our friendship like that, Roman. Don't worry. I know you wouldn't, Nico. Let's hang out soon. Wrong is right mission phone call. This is an unused phone call between the UL paper agent and Nico. During the mission Wrong is Right, Nico has to head over to the location that Oleg Minkov is at and eliminate him. However, I believe that Rockstar intended for Nico, the player, to wait until Oleg arrives, and that during that time of waiting, 
Nico has to not attract any attention from Oleg's friend, Vasily, who waits for Oleg. This can be proved by this very phone call if you accidentally kill Vasily and fail the mission by doing so. I'm sorry. I got to Minkov's friend before he arrived. Got to? You need to learn to control yourself, Belik. Come to see me again. Little Jacob asks for an update about Michelle. This is an unused phone call between Little Jacob and Nico, where he asks Nico if he's heard any updates about Michelle and offers his support to Nico. I believe this call would have happened sometime after completing the mission, Wrong is Right. Nico, you hear anything about the girl Michelle? She put a lot of pressure on you, my brethren. Jacob, Michelle was into some strange shit. I got called to an office in Algonquin. I don't know who this guy was. I think he's government deal or something. They're making me work for them. Ross, you should be in there with a the Babylon agent. At least I'm done sending back home, Nico. You need any help me there for you. Thanks, man. I just hope they don't try to get you into the same shit later on. Dust off alternative phone call. After starting the mission dust off, Nico gets a phone call from the UL paper agent asking if he's nearly there and assigns the task at hand. Nearly there? You're about to see a chopper taking off from civilization plus. We need to get hold of it. Follow it. Wait until it touches down. Then when the passengers are out, get in and fly to the airport in Dukes. Okay then. However, there appears to be an alternative and unused phone call that's similar to the one that's currently used. Nearly there? You are about to see a chopper taking off from Civilization Plaza. We need to get hold of it. Make sure you have a vehicle and follow it. Wait until it touches down, then, when the passengers are out, get in and fly to Francis International Airport. Hey man, it's me. Want to go bowling? Roman, I really wish I could go bowling. But you're setting me up with that Michelle woman has meant that I am chasing a helicopter through the streets of Algonquin. We can't all have fun. I'll talk to you later. Michelle apologizes to Nico. This is an unused phone call between Nico and Michelle, where Michelle ultimately apologizes to Nico for using him and lying to him. Nico, I thought I'd call you one last time to apologize. I used you. You did. And now some guy in the suit is using me instead. There seems to be a pattern emerging, doesn't there, Michelle? Michelle is dead. She only existed to serve a certain purpose. Now that I've blown my cover, she has to die. She doesn't exist anymore. The apartment has been cleared out, the phone is about to be cut off. The person you are speaking to is very different from her. Goodbye, Nico. Look after yourself? I will try. I'm not sure why they removed this phone call, as I believe it added more character to the breakup, so to speak, but who knows? Francis finds out that Clarence is alive. If you spare Clarence a little in the mission Holland Knights, then Francis McCreary would have called Nico shortly after to say this. I just heard that Clarence Jones, that no good kid killing drug dealer I paid you to whack, is still alive. Actually, I ain't heard nothing. I seen him walking down Vauxhall Street in the middle of the day. Fuck. I should have just shot him in the line of duty. He said he'd get out of town. I thought that'd be enough for you. You're a fucking weasel, Nico. I trusted your word and you screwed me. Goodbye. However, I believe this phone call was unused because of the fact that Clarence's last name being mentioned in the phone call is Jones, and that is incorrect. Clarence's last name is actually Little, therefore making the name Clarence Little. Lore Alternative Phone Calls Upon arriving to the sniper building in the mission Lore, Nico calls Francis and essentially tells him that he's there and wants to know how to lure the target out. I found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. What if I told you that there's an alternative conversation to this phone call where Francis does not tell you to use your imagination? Here's this unused phone call. I'm outside the place. Great. The perp should be inside his apartment. Get into the building across the street and take him out with the rifle. Call me when it's over. If, during the mission, you aren't able to lure out the target by any means necessary, then Francis will call you to provide some hints. You got him yet? No, I can't get a clean shot. He's sitting down or something. Look around the place. See if there's something you can use to get his lazy ass up. However, there is an alternative and unused phone call where Francis gives you even more hints than what he does currently. I'm hoping that no news is good news. I still can't get the shot. You don't see anything that will get him up? Uh, I can only see his phone and the TV. Shit, I don't know. Is there a number on the phone? Can you call it? I'll try. 
meltdown missing phone call dialogue. After eliminating Luca and retrieving the diamonds back in the mission meltdown, Nico calls Ray to inform him about it. I took out Luca's crew and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're dead. And I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park. However, there's some missing dialogue to this phone call that's unused. Have a listen. I took out Luca's crew, and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. You were planning to let them live? I was planning for an easy life. Don't matter too much. Bring me the score, Drusillas. No way on the subway, mission pop-up. After completing the mission Museum Peace, Ray tells you to come back to his restaurant Drusillas to do the mission No Way on the Subway. But what if I told you that there's an alternative and unused phone call that would have actually opened up the mission No Way on the Subway? Have a listen. That fucking snake in the grass. When I'm done with that motherfucker, who are you talking about? I told you to take our half of the money and I said let Johnny take the half and you hold on to the other half. You got jumped by a white trash biker, Nikki. Because of that, I got Phil telling me that the peg, Jimmy Pegorino, is pissed. Shit. Come to Drusilla's and get here sharp. Bernie mission passed call. This happens to be an unused phone call between Nico and Bernie, where Nico says this. You'll have no more trouble, Bernie. Don't worry. I could kiss you. You are good enough to eat. Fun time soon. Fun time. I promise. I believe that this phone call was supposed to be used after passing the mission Union Drive, where Nico takes out Bryce Dawkins and Bernie Crane's blackmailers. However, I do think that this phone call was unused because Bernie was essentially with Nico during the entire mission. But this phone call would have been used in the event that Nico went alone to take out the blackmailers. Bryce Dawkins says that he'll help find Darko Brevich. In this unused phone call, Bernie calls Nico to let him know that Bryce Dawkins is going to help find Darko for him. Nico, I've got some good news. I told Bryce about everything. You, what happened, Flory and Darko, everything. Yeah? We got angry. We got sad. We yelled. We cried. We hugged. We laughed. He told me he'd do everything he could to find Darko for us. Being deputy mayor has to have some use, doesn't it? That's great news. Thank you, Bernie. I'm not quite sure why Rockstar decided on taking this out since Bernie did make a promise to Nico about being able to find Darko through Bryce. But who knows? Bowie's Ahoy mission pop-up. Do you remember this text message from Bernie? This was a text message where Bernie freaks out and needs you to come to the pier at Fish Market South to come and help him. This would ultimately open up the mission, Bowie's Ahoy. And when Nico does come to help Bernie, Nico claims that Bernie sounded hysterical. Oh my god, you're the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. I'm thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical! Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. The reason why Nico said that was because of this unused phone call that was originally supposed to be used in replacement of Bernie's text message that made the mission appear in the first place. Nico! Jesus! Nico! I'm at the pier in Fish Market South! I need you! Now! Shit, Bernie! You're in trouble! I'll be there! Bryce can no longer help find Darko. In this unused phone call, Bernie calls Nico to let him know that Bryce was mad about the orange and furnace going into Nico's possession. And during the phone call, Bernie has to say this about Bryce. <laughs> Nico! Nico! This is terrible! What's happened? It's Bryce! I told him about the car and he changed! He got the jealous face! The green-eyed monster jealous face just took over! It was horrible! He says we can't see each other anymore. We are friends from the old country, nothing more. Nemushili Darazume. He says that this Dimitri guy blackmailing him is stressful enough. He can't worry about losing me as well. What about finding Darko Brevich? I don't know. I think he's tried everything he could. I'm sorry, Nico. I have to make things work with him. He's my life. See you around. You're a great guy. I hope you find what you're looking for. This made more sense as to how and why Bryce didn't help Nico find Darko anyway. Bernie and Bryce break up. In this unused phone call, we learn about Bernie breaking up with Bryce Dawkins. Nico! Nico, I'm sorry. I just needed to speak to a friend. Bernie, how are you? It's Bryce. He's broken my heart. How? We've broken up. 
I've been dumped. I'm finished. I'm an old queen nobody loves anymore. I pinned my hopes on this guy and he left me. Said I was an embarrassment. Said he'd found religion. I think he is worried I'm too much of a skeleton in his closet if he chooses to run for mayor. I'm sorry about that, Bernie. You seem so happy. It was all a lie! I see that now. I've been an idiot all along. I'm a walking cliché, Nico. An embarrassment to him and to everyone. Come on, Bernie. Don't be such a drama qu A drama... A drama person. Oh, I know. I'm just really heartbroken. You'll be okay. Go get the face pack and stay in touch. I've got to go. See you later. I never would have thought that this would have come about, but since it's an unused phone call, I wonder if this actually happened or not. Packy wants you to put in a good word for him. After Packy introduces Nico to Jerry, since Jerry liked him so much after the bank heist, he wants Nico to put in a good word for Packy to Jerry with this unused phone call. Nico, it's Packy. Hey! And Jerry said you did good by him. He's grateful. He says you're the first decent person I ever introduced him to. Good. Yes. You better stop embarrassing me. If I lose my reputation as the family fuck up, I'll never forgive you. I'll do my best. Anyway, listen. You wanna hang out sometime? Go for some drinks? Give us a call. I half my mates is dead and the other half is in AA, so I'm kinda bored. Hey, good idea. Let's hang out soon. I'll be in touch. Babysitting mission pop-up. This is an unused phone call from Derek where he actually calls Nico and tells him to meet him at the jetty in Alderney, which is where Derek's mission babysitting actually pops up. Nico me boy, Packy tells me you got some sea legs on you. Meet me at the jetty off of Rand Avenue. I need some help with something. Shit, Derek. You sound almost like a human being. I might just see you there. Tunnel of Death Unused Calls There's a couple of unused phone calls for the mission Tunnel of Death. The first one is where Nico calls Derek to let him know that Packy is helping him on getting Aiden O'Malley. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with them? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. Derek, Packy is going to help me on this job. He's going to help me get Aiden O'Malley. Good. Good. Make him pay, Nico. Make him pay for the shit he's been talking. Okay, Derek. I'll call you again when it's done. The second unused phone call is actually resulting from a mission failure, where Nico apparently loses the prison van. I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to happen, but majority of the fail sequences result in either a cutscene with Packy outside of his house or with no cutscenes at all. Are you dosed? I'm cool. Good because I couldn't catch the prison van. I hope you can deal with Aiden still being out there. I can deal with anything. Derek gives Nico a gift. This is actually kind of cool, but there's an unused phone call that Nico gets from Derek, where Derek essentially gives Nico a gift at one of his safe houses. Nico, my boy, I left you something at your house. A token of gratitude. Should come in handy with your line of work. Cryptic, Derek. The suspense is killing me. Thanks. Don't mention it. Derek thanks you. In this unused phone call, Derek thanks Nico for coming to Francis' funeral and looking after his family during the shootout. This would have happened if Francis was the one that Nico kills and if the mission Undertaker is complete. But of course, this is yet another unused phone call. Thanks for coming to the funeral, Nico, and for looking after me family. I was in no state to do nothing. Honest truth is, I've been dosed since that meeting in the park. Must be hard, Derek, but you didn't have a choice. Nothing's gonna get rid of the truth. I may as well be wandering with a mark on me head. Later on, Nico. Francis hears about Derek's funeral. In this unused phone call, Francis calls Nico to confront him about the gunfire at Derek's funeral. This would have happened if Derek was the one that kills Nico and if the mission Undertaker is complete. But as always, this is yet an unused phone call. Nico, a gunfight at my brother's funeral? My poor, poor ma! She didn't need to say goodbye to Derek with that going on. I guess that's the problem with having gangsters for kids. And the problem with having a dirty cop for a kid is that he'll kill his own brother if he gets in his way. Easy there, Nico. You think this has been easy for me? 
I ain't sleeping nights. I'm a wreck! But I'll be more of a wreck if anyone finds out about this. Keep your trap shut, and I'll try to keep you out of the pen for a bit longer. See you around. Maybe at the next McCreary family function? Whatever that might be. Roman tells you about crapless.net. This is yet an unused phone call where Roman tells you about the website crapless.net. Nico, I just found the best site ever. It's called craplist.net and you can get anything on there. Anything? Well, I, I've only checked women and you can get them on there. It's like a dating site, only these girls are really up for it, you know? Later on, NB. Gravelli thinks you're wasting time. In a few unused phone calls between Nico and Mr. Gravelli, Mr. Gravelli basically tells Nico to stop wasting his time and keeps wondering if Nico completed his tasks. Nico, you've done it then. Great. No, it's not done yet, Mr. Gravelli. I'm working on it. I'm an old man and I haven't got long left. <laughs> Speak to me again when it's done. I can't have my time wasted with calls like this. <laughs> what is it, Nico? Something important? No, Mr. Gravelli. Nothing important. I'll call you later. Goodbye, then. Worker. That's not why I'm calling, Mr. Gravelli. Well, call me back later then. That's unless you want to listen to an old man cough his lungs up. Good luck with that thing. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Derek finds out about Kim's death. This is an unused phone call from Derek who tells Nico about Kim Young Guk's death. For reference, Kim Young Guk is the character that you help Derek escort into Liberty City by sea and eventually end up killing him for John Gravelli and the UL paper agent. I don't know if you've heard, Nico, but Kim, the Korean kid we brought into the country, got taken down. Really? Yeah. I guess every immigrant story ain't the fairy tale yours is. Yeah, mine's a real fairy tale, Derek. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Later on, man. This phone call would have made so much sense to keep in, specifically because of Derek's connection to Kim. Jimmy Pecorino yells for help. These are some unused phone calls from Jimmy Pecorino to Nico during the mission Pecorino's Pride, where Jimmy urgently demands Nico to help him from the pressure caused by the Pavanos. Shit! The Pavanos is trying to whack me! More of them is showing up! Get out here and help me, Nico! I don't know what you're busy with up there, but I need your immigrant ass down here now! This ain't pretty! Mr. Pecorino, what's up? I'm getting my ass kicked! There's more guys coming in the back! Get down here, Nico! I don't know what you're busy with up there, but I need your immigrant ass down here now! Marco and Pete have been fucking clipped! Mr. Begorino, what's up? Marco and Pete are down, and I'm about to get clipped! Shit! There are more guys coming in the back! Get down here, Nico! At one point, Jimmy Pecorino even bashes Nico about firing first at the meat that the Pecorinos had with the Pavanos. On my way. Jacob calls you about the Pecorinos. There's an unused phone call from little Jacob where he calls Nico to talk to him about working for the Pecorinos. I believe this would have happened shortly after Nico started working for the Pecorinos and completed Pecorinos Pride. Nico, how's it going? Me and you be working for the Alderney boys, the Pecorinos. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, man. See, Nico, the mafia dancing with Algonquin. The mafia's over there in Alderney. That's the impression I'm beginning to get. Come soon, Nico. And I should link up sometime, see it? Jimmy Pecorino praises Nico. Similar to the unused phone call with Dimitri, there's one where Jimmy Pecorino praises Nico for his hard work and essentially gives Nico a safe house to stay at in Alderney. Nico, it's Jimmy. You're doing real well, kid. You're becoming part of the family. Hey, let's keep this a business relationship. I'd prefer to be a paid employee than a relative. <laughs> sure, Nico. I'm giving you a gift, a nice apartment in Alderney City, on Mahesh Avenue. Real classy. This is a gift, Jimmy? Or a way for you to keep your eye on me? Don't get cute, kid. It don't suit you. You're staying in Alderney now, just like me and Phil. Don't worry about that cousin of yours. He won't be in no danger sleeping in your Algonquin pad by yourself. I believe this would have been counterintuitive to the text message that you get from Ray about the safe house that you get in Alderney. Packy calls you about the Pecorinos. There's an unused phone call from Packy where he calls Nico to talk about him working for the Pecorinos and also about the apartment that Jimmy told Nico to stay in. Have a listen. Nico, my man, 
How's it going? How you like working for those Guidos? I don't think I like it any better than you and your brother do. We gotta make a living, though, don't we? Yeah? Why well, think you're doing too good for him? I got a call from Ray saying Jimmy P wants to keep you close. They're setting you up with a pad in Alderney. If they paid me enough and helped me find the man I'm after, I'd sleep in a basket at the end of Pegorino's bed. A place of my own, eh? Roman's going to miss me, but it'll be useful. Thanks, Packy. Later on. Packy calls during the mission Payback. In an unused phone call that Packy makes to Nico, he asks Nico if he'd like to hang out with them. Except that this happens during the mission Payback while Nico is chasing down the Pavanos. Nico, I know you're probably occupied and don't want to hang out, but thought I'd try. I'm bored. Shit, Packy. I'm kind of busy chasing down some wise guys for those Guido buddies of yours. Hey, I'm offended. You're having fun without me. Tell me this job ain't as crazy as when you and me hit that bank together. You mean when Michael died? I couldn't possibly be having that much fun. I'll talk to you later, Packy. Jimmy puts his trust into Nico. There's an unused phone call that's made from Jimmy to Nico, where Jimmy tells him that he trusts Nico a lot and appreciates his hard work, but also says that he's the only reliable source that he's got since the family is falling apart. Nico, what's up? Listen, this family's falling a fucking pot. Who'd have thought an immigrant from the wrong side of the Adriatic would be the most reliable soldier we got? We're lucky to have you in the family. I'm not in the family. I'm your employee, Mr. Pegorino. You seem to get this stuff confused. What do you Nico, we're family. We've welcomed you into the fold. And that means we're looking after your cousin, too. That guy likes to gamble, don't he? I bought some of his debt for him. Now he don't have to worry about no loan sharks coming after him. Just me. You don't need to do that for my cousin, Mr. Pegorino. I can handle all his debt. I'll cover it. Forget about it. I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. Least I could do. Ciao. Ray tells you to stay away from Phil. There's an unused phone call that I believe was supposed to be used before the mission pest control took place. Ray, in this unused phone call, tells you to stay away from Phil. Nikki, I got a piece of advice for you. Stay away from Phil. He's causing himself some problems. Getting too close to the skipper's wife. I mean, you got a whole city full of potential lays and he's chasing the skipper's coos. That is not my business. I don't want to see you get caught up in it, that's all. Just looking out for you, pal. Phil asks Nico for an update from Jimmy or Ray. After having met Phil, Ray, and Jimmy Pegorino in the beginning cutscene of the mission Pest Control, I believe this unused phone call was supposed to take place shortly after. After having met Phil, Ray, and Jimmy Pegorino in the beginning cutscene of the mission Pest Control, I believe this unused phone call was supposed to take place shortly before Jimmy Pegorino made up his mind about who he wants you to kill. Nico, you heard anything from Jimmy P or Ray? I swear, Ray's up to something. He's gonna get real hurt if he's trying to get me clipped. I ain't heard nothing, Phil. Everything's cool. Just sit tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy for you to say. Jacob hears about Roman and Mallory's wedding. Little Jacob calls Nico in an unused phone call to talk about Roman and Mallory's engagement and hears about the wedding that they're gonna have. Nico, my man. Roman and Mallory are getting married. Me thinks. It is, man. I'm real happy for them. Boy, he's done a lot of growing up, you know. A wise dread now. I do not know if Roman is wise. I'll see you at the wedding, Jacob. Nico met someone on the street. This is an unused phone call between Nico and Roman, where Nico tells Roman that he met a stranger on the street and found it to be a weird experience. Roman, you are right about Liberty City. It is a crazy place. What happened to you, Nico? I don't know. I just met someone in the street. It was weird. I hope you took her back to the apartment and had your way with her, Nico. Did she have nice titties? It wasn't like that. You don't get it. Come on, NB. I do get it. Liberty is a crazy place. There are all types of people here. Most of them ignore you. Some of them want to employ you. Some of them want to kill you. Some of them want to fuck you. It's mad, cousin. Enjoy the ride. I'll try to. Later on. Now, I'm not quite sure when this takes place. But by the sounds of it, I believe this either happens after meeting Jeff Harlingford or Eddie Lowe. But, given how Roman describes the people of Liberty City to Nico as if he's new to all of it, I think this takes place when Nico meets Brian Meech near Roman's taxi depot and broker. Jerry calls you one last time. Jerry, in an unused phone call that he makes to Nico, tells Nico to look after his family while he's in prison. Nico, it's Jerry. Hey! Great. Look, Nico, I've always been responsible for my family. Now one of my brothers is dead, and I'm on the inside. They're gonna need some looking after, especially young Patrick and Katie, my sis. Jerry, what's this about? I want you to look out for him is all. 
Keep an eye on them. Make sure no harm comes to them. It's a fucked up world out there. In here too, for that matter. I'll do what I can, man. All right, so long, Nico. Packy calls you during that special someone. There's an unused phone call that Packy makes to Nico asking to go out drinking with him during the mission That Special Someone. Man, it's Packy calling. How about we go drinking? I can't, Packy. I might have found what I was looking for all this time. Maybe I'll feel like getting drunk later though. UL Paper Agent calls about Nico's decision making. There's an unused phone call that the UL Paper Agent makes to Nico after completing the mission That Special Someone. There's two alternatives to these unused phone calls depending on whether you kill Darko or not. And here they are. So, you got your revenge. I hope it gave you the satisfaction you were looking for. What do you want? To make me do more good things for your cause? No, you're useless to me. We need someone who wants something. Someone with burning desires. You have nothing left. Goodbye and good luck. After all that trouble, you didn't even kill him? Remarkable. I looked at him and realized that revenge was not what I wanted after all. For him, death would have been a release. For me, another stain I do not need. Maybe you have learned something, Bellic. Goodbye and good luck. Try to live a good life. Nico calls Kate about Darko. There's an unused phone call between Kate and Nico where Nico calls Kate to talk about Darko Brevich. I believe this would have taken place after the mission, that special someone. Hi Nico. You've been on my mind a lot recently. Are you okay? This is strange. Things have been weird recently. What's happened? I have been looking for a man for a long time. Someone who betrayed me. Caused a lot of my friends to die. And you found this guy, did you? I don't want to know what you did to him. Just tell me how you feel. I thought that finding him would make me whole again. It is all I have thought about for a long time. I still feel empty though. The void is still there. Jimmy gets angry at Nico for killing Dimitri. There's an unused phone call that I believe would have happened after Nico chooses the revenge option and ultimately kills Dimitri, which turns Pegarino's deal down. Here it is. I never made any promises to you, Mr. Pegorino. I'm my own man, and I follow my own instincts. Dimitri and I had unfinished business, so I went ahead and finished it. That's something you're going to have to accept. I guess I will. The horse is gone, and I can't get Phil on the phone. Who knows what happened to him? Think of all the money you could have made. Money's not what motivates everyone, Mr. Pegorino. I had more important things to think about. Now I'm out. I don't want to get involved in this shit no more. Good luck to you. You're a snake! You turned around and bit the hand and fed you! How hard would it have been to suck up your pride to one deal? Now I got nothing left to lose! Hey, I'm sorry things didn't work out. Goodbye. This is a call that I thought should have automatically stayed in the game. It sounded so cool to hear Pecorino's rage at Nico that eventually builds up to Kate's death. What do you think? Dimitri calls Nico after doing Pecorino's deal. You ever wonder why Dimitri, being the snake that he is, didn't call Nico after they did the deal with Pecorino? I don't know. But what I could tell you is that Rockstar originally intended for that to happen with this unused phone call from Dimitri. Nico, I heard you got the money. This is great. Everything turned out perfectly. No thanks to you, you piece of shit. You fucked me and Phil with that stunt. Come on! I put you in a position to make a lot of money. It was a gamble, and it paid off. Yeah, well, you should give people the heads up before you gamble with their lives. They might want to make different decisions. Enjoy your life. I don't want nothing more to do with you. Kate's condolences, alternative phone call. So let me be perfectly clear that Kate does call Nico to offer her condolences to him after having lost Roman. But I did find an alternative and unused phone call that does sound less sincere as opposed to the one that's currently used, which is this. Nico, it's me. I'm so sorry about Roman. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I don't know what to say. I know how much he meant to you. He was my family. I know. I'm just really sorry. Sure. This couldn't get any less awkward and sincere with Kate as per usual, right? <laughs> That's just sarcasm. So these are all of the unused phone calls that I found in the game. I'm almost positive and certain that I might have missed a couple of them, but as I've mentioned already, I dug through all of the scripted speech audio files. And these are all of the ones that I found. Let me know if you happen to find any more. With that said, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video up to this point, then hit that like button and subscribe.
Check out some of my other GTA 4 content shown on display as well. The one on the top left is a brand new graphics mod that's coming out for GTA 4 called Ice Enhancer 4 along with Project Revive at some point in the future. The one on the top right is a video on how I turned GTA 4 into GTA 5 with mods as some sort of experiment. And the video on the bottom left is my review of the 10 darkest moments in GTA 4. I'll catch you guys later and peace out.